Silver medalist in the 5,000, the fastest qualifier for this race from Australia, Craig Mutra. Craig Mutra, man. It looks like it could be a win for Australia here. He's the quickest man of all of them, of the mile, over 5,002 miles. And today, he does take the win, defeats them all. I suppose it started when I was sort of eight or nine years old when, um, when I was growing up in Frankston. I started doing little athletics when I was eight or nine. I wasn't outstanding, but I was, I was better than, than average and, and I really enjoyed going down on, on every Saturday morning at Ballam Park in, in Frankston and competing against other friends and, and other families, which was great. I was encouraged to do cross country, play soccer, tennis, football, cricket, depending on, on the season, but um, you know, I didn't stand out in any one of those sports. It wasn't until I was a bit older that I realised I was, I was better than most at, um, at running, so I suppose that's the, how I got into, into running, was that I started to progress from, from junior ranks into senior ranks and, and started to get better and better, and, and I thought, well, maybe I could do the triathlon, obviously with swimming, then cycling, then running, it, it fitted in quite nicely, and once I set my mind on a task, I go at it 100%, and, and I decided that I wanted to give triathlon a go, and for a couple of years, I was you know, a, mid, a midfield finisher, but uh, with my commitment and, and dedication, I was able to, to rise to the top of that field, and retired at the young age of 18 from triathlon. In year 12 at Geelong Grammar, I was 17, 18 years old and, and um, captain of the athletics program. I was nominated captain because I was one of four boys that showed up to the first day of training and I was the only one that could run a lap without stopping, so they thought that was good enough to be captain. Um, and I participated in the 3,000, 1,500 and a leg of the 4x8 all within an hour, which was, uh, which was challenging because it was 35 degrees and, and uh, it was windy. But uh, I, I did quite well and, and that was actually where I got my first, I suppose, break uh, in terms of sponsorship and things like that because people saw me run there and they saw that I had some ability and obviously the Sydney Olympics were only a year and a half away and that was a huge opportunity for me. To, uh, to make an Olympic team and, and represent my country at, at the highest level. I think I was pretty much like any other kid growing up, you know. I was, I was good at lots of different sports, but I never excelled in any one in particular one. But, once I focused on running, then that's where my, my passion was and that's where I started to achieve at a high level. I've been an Adidas ambassador now for a couple of years and, and I believe Adidas to be the world leading sports apparel provider and, uh, and that's led me now to be the um, Adidas School Fun Run Program Ambassador, which um, I'm also delighted to be for a number of reasons, but most importantly because it encourages kids to get out and, and have a lot of fun and, and live a healthy lifestyle and participate in sport with friends and family and, and, uh, and do it in a fun and safe way. Yeah.